While some legendary weapons in Odyssey are hidden in the world in secret chests, some are rewards for side quests that I totally recommend you do. In this video I want to show some of these weapons and also how to find them, so if you enjoy that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Let's start with the Atlantean Blade Dagger that looks really really cool. As the name suggests, this has to do with Atlantis, so also the Izu. And we see that the blade is also sort of high tech, really comparable to the flickering daggers from Ord that were part of the first Civ gear pack. Like the similarities are there, only the daggers from Odyssey are better than the Origins counterparts. We got the pretty unique legendary armor penetration perk that makes you hit through the armor of the enemies, dealing more damage in the process. Although it's kind of hard to see what the effect of it is in the game. And even with the detailed stats page that will be coming in an upcoming update and is already available in the project stream version of the game. If you're not familiar, Google is now letting people stream odyssey to their grown browser it's in the beta right now some people are invited and already have this stat page anyway if we take a look at this shot we do not see the armor penetration there so yes you do more damage for sure but it's kind of hard to really calculate the advantages versus the different enemies if we compare it to other daggers that also do not have the warrior damage perk it's kind of hard to notice the armor penetration difference the atlantean blades also come with extra crit damage and that is of course great for the hunter playstyle since you will focus on the headshots aka the guaranteed crits anyways so having more damage for that is really really good so yes, a great weapon for the hunter playstyle, it of course also enhances your hunter damage. But just like with the other legendary weapons, you can put the armor penetration perk on another item as well. Although again, the effect, while a little bit noticeable, is not entirely clear. You get this weapon by taking on the quest called the message, the stick and the artist that you find in a lease over here. First you have to interact with a statue nearby and they will trigger a new quest that has you go to three statues in the world and interact with them as well. But the game will tell you where to go so it's pretty easy to complete and it of course already helps if you got some fast travel spots nearby otherwise just go there with your boat of course. After you interacted with all the statues go back to where you started and then you will see a new quest that tells you about a secret room that you can enter via a code that you find in the quest items or you can just pause this video because this is the code and then interact with the door after you pushed like the buttons in the right order and then open the chest for this pretty cool dagger. We also got a cool legendary spear that enhances your damage and health in the conquest battles by 25% making this one if not the best weapon to use in these activities. It also has the 5% all damage perk, one of the best great perks in the game and it enhances your warrior damage. So while I would say that the other overpower attacks like from the heavy blade and the heavy blonde weapons are better in the conquest battles, the overpower attack from this spear can also help you during these 150 versus 150 battles. But yeah the downside of course from this weapon is that when you are not fighting in a conquest battle the legendary perk is kind of useless so it's great when you want to switch sides for Athens or Sparta get some nice XP and some epic gear in the process but apart from that the other warrior spears are better like the Hades by Dan that I showed you in a recent video that you can watch by clicking on the screen but I will also link to it at the end of this video you also don't want to put this perk as an engraving on another weapon because then again you only make it great for the conquest battles what you can do is put this weapon in your second slot while you use a not a weapon to clear the enemies on the battlefield. This way you should still have the buff without sacrificing the two legendary perks on one weapon. So yeah, it's totally worth getting the Athena Spear. I grinded for this one during the live stream yesterday because yes, it is a grind to kill a lot of the Polymarchos or Polymarks. The pronunciation is still a little bit weird. Like I got a lot of input saying, oh, you need to say it like this. But yeah, we will just go for Polymarks from now on. Anyway, these big health enemies are the key to this weapon, but first you need to pick up two quests that I already showed you in previous videos in order to make them count. One of the quests is in Athens under the big statue, and the other one is the ambition in Sparta that both have you kill and loot three of these pole marks enemies. And after you've done that, you need to do it again and again. Like, I think you need to do it five times per character, so kill 15 Spartan pole marks and 15 Athenian big guys. But yeah, don't forget to loot them because you need the item you get from killing them. And also go back to the quest giver after you killed three of them 
to receive the next quest and also one piece of their epic sets because both generals have their own epic gear set that is really really nice to get because they may contain some strong perks like this belt i got from the spartan general has 20 percent damage with overpower abilities and five percent all damage making it one of the best epic belts you can get sad part is though that it's random so you can totally have different perks than what i got although they might still be pretty good Thanks by the way to Furman for sharing this shot and also telling me about the spear and everyone else that reached out. I made a full video on the fact that epic gear is in many cases better than legendary gear because of the extra perk on the epic gear items. So it's also great to do this quest for the full epic gear sets that you get from both characters. And now that I think about it, maybe you can like save your game before you complete the quest, look at the perks of the gear piece you got and then if you don't like it, reload your save complete the quest again until you got like the best perks per epic gear piece item you want just an idea i don't know if this will work but it sounds like something that should work right i will try that with the other epic gear that i still need to get let me know if you tried this out because again it should be interesting and it should work if you killed all the Spartan and Athenian pole march, then there's still one quest waiting for you that you can start at both the generals. Here you basically decide for who you will fight in a conquest battle that follows. I went with Sparta, although it should not really matter as both quests reward you with this awesome spear. Subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I know there are new trophies that just popped up hinting at future content and I will have a video about that up really really soon because it's pretty interesting. So subscribe to stay up to date on everything that is going on in the game and also coming to the game in terms of content, these tips and tricks videos. Like this video to support channel, check out that video on the Hades by Dance or check my recent video on all the things you can do at the max level. And I will, of course, speak to you next time. Goodbye.